Hey what's up guys Chinmay here from CM Reviews and today I'm going to review Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on our Galaxy Grand. So without any further ado, let's right jump into it. So the Android version here is Android 5.1.1 that's Lollipop, latest and the greatest. So as you can see here, 5.1.1. The ROM is developed by the legendary developer PAWITP. I'm sorry bro, I cannot pronounce your name but a big shout out to this guy. And without him the probability of getting a custom ROM on your Galaxy Grand was too damn less. But anyways, let's jump into the review. As you can see the UI is pretty much similar to that we see on AOSP which is seen on the Nexus devices. There is very less customization out of the box. As you can see the icons are small and there is an app bar enabled which I have enabled myself. Customization is good but minimal. Lot of the features which I find important myself are missing in Cyanogen mode. But most of the features that are commonly used are present. One more problem that I have with Cyanogen mode is that the settings are not collected in one single location. Instead they are scattered here and there. I mean it creates a bit of confusion when you, find, when you try to find the notification drawer setting in the notification area but it is not there it is instead below in the notification drawer and as i said it creates a little bit of confusion but anyways most important things are present and it does the job gaming as usual you know i'm not a big time gamer but casual games such as into the dead temple run 1 temple run 2 and voxel rush run fine i didn't have any issues but the problem is that once I play the game for a long time, so that is 10 to 15 minutes, the phone start to give drop frames and there is a bit of lag noticed here and there. So the quick solution for that is changing the CPU governor to performance mode just like this and you will be good to go. So giving might be an issue for all the hardcore gamers but all those who are just casual gamers like me will not have any problem here performance the overall performance of the rom is good and the battery backup that i get with this rom is excellent around 20 hours of total battery life with 4 to 5 hours of screen on time is excellent according to me as i have a 2 year old battery running in this guy also one more important thing is when the phone is on standby mode battery drainage is very low com compared to other 5.0 roms which is a good thing but one issue in performance is that there is a lot and lot of force closures in most of the apps such as Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat etc. The problem happens is when you close Snapchat or Instagram you get a force close but Facebook you just can't use it for more than 2 minutes. It just forces you to close the app and that is pretty bad because I am a big time Facebook user and I don't like when this thing happens on my phone. So let's come to the pros and cons. The pros here are minimal customization, there are customization options but as I said there are less compared to as we have seen in the Resurrection Remix ROM so it gives you much more feel of a pure stock AOSP version. Another thing is all the themes are compatible here. Something that is important here is that all the themes don't perform really good on other ROMs such as the Resurrection Remix ROM or the Bliss Pop ROM or any other 5.1.1 ROM. But all the 5.1 and 5.0 themes work perfectly fine on Cyanogen Mod 12.1. One more thing that I want to share is the OD updates. I've already made a video for that. You can click the link here and you can check out how OTA are how we get updates on Cyanogen Mod on Galaxy Grand. It is extremely easy and it is awesome thing. And the most important thing is the battery backup. As I said. 20 hours of total battery life with 4 to 5 hours of screen on time is excellent according to me. So that's the pros and let's get down to the cons. The performance is not as good as a Resurrection Remix ROM. Don't get me wrong guys, the ROM performs very fast. For normal user it will be great. But for heavy gamer or someone who does a lot of multitasking like me having a lot of social apps continuously running in the background, it's not the ROM for you guys. And the next con is the similar as I said earlier, I faced a lot of force closes in apps while closing them. And it was pretty annoying to be honest, I didn't enjoy it. But anyways, that's all for the cons. So the final verdict is, all the mild users, those who are 
not into heavy usage such as extensive social networking apps or extensive gaming i will recommend you to try this rom but all the heavy gamers and the heavy users definitely you should not try this rom you will be disappointed only good thing here is the battery backup i can see and that wraps up pretty much it for this video guys and i'll be back with you another time with more videos so don't forget to hit that subscribe button also like this video if it helped you and i will really appreciate that and that's all for today guys i'll be back with you another time soon see you next time